All right, boys, the number one question I get all the time is, how much money will I spend on Madden? How much money should you spend on Madden? How much money will we spend on Mutt? Let's talk about it. Now, first of all, when we talk about Mutt, it is one mode in Madden. Madden, it's not Madden. You don't have to spend money to play Madden. There is a huge regs community. More people play regs than any other mode. So if you don't want to spend money on Mutt, Mutt is a scam. You have a negative attitude towards Mutt. That's fine. There's plenty of people that play regs. One of the biggest things you have to do is realize that you're going to feel a little left out over here on the YouTube content thing because Mutt is king of the content right now. That's the only thing. But there's still more people that play regs than any other mode. If you want to play comp regs, head on over to Players Lounge. That link will be below. Sign up there. You can play tournaments. You can play head-to-head -head for money, whatever it may be. And at the end of the day, I grew up playing regs head-to-head -head over and over and over and over and over and over and over just for fun. Chargers, Patriots, Eagles, over and over. I remember playing with Ed Reed and Ray Lewis. So that's how I grew up. So as far as the people that say, oh, well, you know, I don't want to play regs. Well, I mean, then you're going to you want to play Mutt. You're going to have to spend money or grind the hell out of it, one or the other. But there is a huge market still for regs, respectable market. That's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with buying Madden, picking up, and playing regs. That's first thing first. We got to get out the board because as soon as you start talking about money and Madden, people will have a negative attitude like you have, like the game forces your hands that you have to spend $5,000 on the game. It's not the case. Then you have to realize who you are as a Madden player. You know, who are you? What is your goal in Madden? You have to set those down. You know, you can just, you can be a casual. You can be a guy that just wants to play, grind, build his team, whatever it may be. Um, the comp side, like if you want to be belt comp, compy belt, dude, I think you have to, uh, the one thing, you have to realize what you're up against. If you're a belt, I want to go get a belt. I want to win the MCS. I want to play. You have to realize that the people you're playing against will be playing 16 hours a day. They will have every single card the, the day the game drops. If they can pay for it, they will have it. That is how the comp scene is. That's how it's going to be. That's what you'll be up against. Are you willing? And that's probably, you know, thousands of dollars day one because they are, it's an investment on how good they are at the game. Can they win some of that back? If they make one live event, they might make, you know, $10,000 and win it all back. So that's an investment for on the competitive side of Madden to try to keep up with that as a casual player, even a kind of comp player is ludicrous, especially with the tournament the first day. Tough to keep up with that. If you want to go for it, Go for it by all means, but I think you're at that point. You're out there putting at least a thousand dollars in the game in the first day. I, you know, I think that's how that's going to be. Uh, do I want to do that? Not really. And if I was a comp player, I probably wouldn't do that right away. Or if I wasn't a streamer, uh, I probably wouldn't do that right away. But you know, that's what you have to realize first and foremost. And if you want to be uh, casual, I would try to rock with whatever team you want. My see I, for this question, how much do you spend? I have to go back. To before you know I was a streamer and this was a job and everything and my thought was if I get a quarterback on the field I'm gonna go throw the ball around that's how I felt if I can get a Mahomes or I can get Josh Allen or Jalen Hurts Lamar Jackson whatever it be as soon as I get that card put a couple receivers around them and some decent I'm gonna go out there and play I don't think I needed the, the super goons right away I wanted to see how the game felt see what players I wanted on the field. If my wide receivers were slow, let's try to get a Tyree kill. If I wanted bigger body wide receivers, okay, let's try to get uh, who, Mike Evans, you know. That's kind of how I think and see how the game plays. Most important thing you do is judge what you need on your team off of how your team is performing for the most part. And the same note, understand what you're using. If you're running a gun A slot and you have two tight ends and two wide receivers, you don't need to spend enough money to have a third wide receiver. That's just overkill. Um, for the most part, that's how I feel. But and same thing with defense. If you're running a nickel normal, you don't need eight DBs. You don't need two middle linebackers. Whatever it may be, figure out your personnel and kind of state it at personnel if you're kind of on a budget. So for me, I, that's what I, w I would go for. You know, I would try to get a quarterback and then put the ball on the field. How we go? It's going to be interesting to see these rookie premieres. When do we get these cards? Right? When do we get them? Because if we get them early, that might be all we need, right? That might be all we need. Rookie premieres, put them out there. Let's put Bryce Young out there. Let's put C.J. Stroud, Will Levis, whoever it may be. Let's see how they do and if that's good enough for my team. So that's another thing I, I look forward to. Hopefully they come out at least in the launch 
which would be the 18th, I believe. Hopefully they come out Monday, but probably not. So now for me as a streamer, I know that, you know, there's a lot of pressure that you guys put under, are put under as mutt players watching YouTube videos every single week, every single day, the newest card, the newest drop, the newest promo, 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 drops, drops, newest card, newest card. And I think that pressure makes you feel like you always need that newest card. And in, in my philosophy, everything like that, I feel like you'd be fine waiting a week for the newest promo, if not two weeks. And I think that can save you at least half of your money if you don't use the, you know, don't need to get the newest card. Like, you're going to see me with the Richard Sherman the first day. Yeah, look at the new Richard Sherman. And it's going to make you feel like you need that card. And that's a pressure that comes with being a casual mutt player or just being a casual competitive player. And it's a constant pressure of, I need the new card on YouTube or on Twitch. And you don't, honestly. Not early, not right away, anything like that. And one of the other biggest pressures is, Mentally, it's easy to say you're losing because of the cards. You're losing because your team is not good enough. It's easy to say that. When in actuality, if you can get better at the game, your team matters less. It's kind of how it works. You know, the better you can get at the game, your team's going to matter less. And that's going to carry over all year. You know, if you're good enough to play with a base elite team now, just imagine in Christmas, you know, when one, you got to save some money for some Christmas presents. You don't got to buy the new ghost of Christmas past cards that come out because you've gotten better at the game to where your Thanksgiving cards are still eaten. You know, your kickoff cards are still eaten. And I think that's how it is. And I tell people all the time, you'd be better off heading over to MadturF.com, buying one of our membership packages to learn how to play the game better rather than buying that next bundle. So that also, that link is below as well, boys, if you want to head over to MadturF. But uh, losing and, and, you know, feeling like you're not that good will give you the pressure of needing to get a new team. That's another thing that's involved with spending money for your team so one you don't need the new promo cards and your team isn't going to make you better instantly those are the two things you got to fight the urge to think because that's what the you know the perception of the whole mutt universe is i need the new promo and i need the new or i need my team to be better at the game those two things will give you pressures to continue to buy you don't have to and at the end of the day let's be honest mutt is designed to get us to want to keep spending money it is a scam i don't want to say it's a scam i don't know what the word i'm looking for but because it's fun we enjoy it that's why we do it you're not going to pay money to something you don't enjoy so but it's designed to keep us going and it's designed to be something you spend money on but as far as launch man i'm going to spend money i am a streamer i am a content creator and i'm a competitive person so for me i'm going to have the best team one of the biggest things you got to realize is you don't got to keep up with me you know that, that's going to be hard to do for regular people. It's tough uh, because you're going to watch videos. You're going to watch everybody's videos and it'll be the newest card. So it's going to be tough to keep up. But before I'm going to have some taxes people in the chat, I don't spend money because it's for taxes. A lot of people have that misconception. Let me show you guys exactly what taxes do here. This is, uh, we're going to go here. This is, say we make 100000 this year, right? This is a yearly thing. This is how taxes work before, you know, the comments you guys are telling me that I don't spend money and new streamers don't spend money. And, and it's easy to think that, you know, but this is how it works. A hundred thousand. Let's say this is a hundred thousand here, boys. Where are we going with this? Oh, that's a racer. All right. So this is a hundred thousand. This is our hundred thousand that we made, right? This is our money we made this year. Let's just say, like I said, just say a hundred thousand. Boom. Here's the IRS. They want to come around with taxes, which is good. The word, I mean, listen, I'm not anti-tax person. If you're paying taxes, that means you're doing pretty well. So here comes the IRS. They're walking over. They want your money. They want their 25%. So they'll come over here and they'll take 25% of what you make on the year as a business. Boom. They take their 25%. Damn. I just lost. I had to pay taxes 25K, right? 25k I had to pay in taxes that's tough and the way you should the way you lessen that tax is by saying you didn't make as much money or by say by using some of that 100k throughout the year to spend business expenses which is a computer a business trip uh your office your everything and at the end of the day mutt cards is a part of that so let's just say we got our 100k but we spent twenty thousand dollars on mutt Right, we spend twenty thousand dollars on mud. 
which is a ridiculous number. I've never spent that much. But for the sake of argument purposes, let's say we spent 25K on Mutt. Now we have our net profits, 100. We'll, we'll minus that business expense. You didn't think you were going to tax school here. You didn't. Honestly, I'm not the smartest person. There's somebody in here that's going to tell me I'm probably wrong. But okay, now our business, our net income for the year, because... We had we made 100k, but we spent 20 on our packs, right? We spent 20 on our packs. Now our income for the year is 80, right? So now we're sitting at 80 instead of 100k, 80,000. Now, Mr. IRS comes here and says, "Damn, I still want your 25%, but now 25% of that is only to 20k. So I'm just going to save $5,000 on my taxes." by spending that 20k and you're going to try to find you know my clothes i wore or the food i ate or the coffee i had or you know whatever my drawings in the background or my cameras everything is a business expense and ideally i mean ideally you want to make money as a business but you want to have your expenses as low as possible so the tax percentage that mr irs comes and takes is not that high so that is where the mutt cards write it off on taxes what it is is it it subtracts essentially from your gain as a business, you know, but I still have to spend the money. It's not like the business goes anywhere. It's not like the money just poof disappears or the IRS gives me back all the money that I spent on mutt packs. That's not how it works. So it's not like I'm spending money. So you ask me, how much do I want to spend? Nothing. I want to have my rookie premieres and I want them to be good enough to play. And honestly, if the rookie premieres are good enough to play week one, this will be the best promo Madden has ever, ever done. If they give us a, a a team from the jump that can compete right away, this this rookie premiere will be the greatest promo EA has ever done, without a doubt. And I have high hopes for these rookie premieres uh, because one, it was cool that they made us grind late in the year, and if they worked and they work in the Madden 24, that would be awesome. But that's a lot of faith. So the the simple question: How much money am I going to spend as least as possible? Um, I have a budget to where uh, if I spend more than five hundred dollars, then it's like okay, I don't want to do this. I hope my team is good enough to play. But as a streamer, and I want to be competitive, I want to play ladders next weekend. I'm going to want to have the best team ever, and I'm not going to allow something. To, you know, I'm not going to allow a budget to hold me back on that. So if I'm missing cards, we're going to keep buying bundles. But like I said, you don't have to keep up with me. I would budget yourself whatever is comfortable for you. I maybe one bundle can get you going. One the may the big bundle, hundred dollars. I think that can get everybody going. For, you know, if you want a, a simple answer. But at the end of the day, like I said, to start the video. You don't need to play mutt. You can play regs. Simple as that. Nothing wrong with playing regs, and it's nothing wrong with a no money spent grind. There's nothing wrong with that. The biggest thing is you have to mentally realize you'll be behind on the content YouTube kings, and you'll be behind the competitive super comp guys. But there's a super place in between. You know, you got the comp guys, you got the super nerd YouTubers that have every card, and then you got everybody else. There's no, there's nothing wrong with being in everywhere else, and you can be on a budget. You don't have to spend a lot of money there. Keep up. I'm gonna do a great series this year on are the cards worth it to help you guys i know you we always watch youtube videos every single week oh the newest card he's awesome no half of them suck half of them you don't need and i'm going to make sure i do a youtube series on are they worth it each single card and that way hopefully help you guys out because nobody should be spending money that they don't want to on mutt just to try to keep up man it's a tough game it's but it's fun that's why we like it. You know, it's the biggest question I get. How much money are you going to spend? Hope I cleared some of these uh, questions you guys have about that. If you have any more mutt spending questions, uh, let me know. I, I don't know what bundles will be the best. We'll try to figure that out. I normally try to go for whatever bundle can give you the most cards in general. Like, I would say maybe just a bunch of, you know, gold, what? all-star packs or whatever the hell they were with you know a bunch of different packs a bunch of core elites as many opportunities you have to pull good cards that's what i would shoot for but we'll see what the packs are looking like day one i will be live streaming it you guys know twitch.tv slash dub that that link is below tons of links for you guys to look at below but i appreciate you guys watching this hope i cleared up any of your questions as far as spending money in mud.